Okay, I'm going to try a tutorial here a little bit on how to install Flowmaster Force 2 exhaust, just a single outlet on my 2011 GMC Sierra. So I've never done any exhaust work before and I've never filmed a tutorial before so uh, bear with me a little bit on this and uh, like I said, never done any exhaust work before so if this goes well for me then it'll probably go even better for others. First we're going to start it with a stock exhaust. Okay, that's what that sounds like, stock. So uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the instructions and see what's next. Okay, next it says to measure back from the back of the muffler 28 inches and make a mark. This is where you're going to cut your stock exhaust off. I'd be lying if I wasn't a bit nervous, but that's where I'm going to sawzall and cut this baby off. Also, don't forget, jack up the muffler on some stands. And, uh, well, pray a little. Okay, I guess I'm finishing this now. Here's what it'll look like. Um, recommendation, wear safety glasses. Um, I mean, I did anyway, but, uh, want to make sure I, uh, say that just to remind everybody. Next step is to remove it from these hangers. Uh, you can see there are a little mushroom kind of on the other side here. I don't know if you can kind of see it or not, but they are. And it says in the instructions that, you know, lubricate it will help. So I'm going to spray some WD-40 in here is what I'm going to use. So there's one right here right behind where you cut. And then there's kind of a... V-shaped one right here, there, and it kind of goes across the bottom of the pipe and up the other side. And then one right back here, right at the end. So I got her out. And let me tell you, that bitch didn't go easy. I had to drop my spare tire and use a, quite a bit of, el of elbow grease to get her out of there. Um, if you got a lift, by golly, I would have made my life a lot easier, but I didn't. All I have were these ramps. I had a floor jack, but I wasn't about to climb underneath right there with it just on a floor jack and some uh, jack stands. So, uh, well, I got it. Whew. Okay, well, while I got zero exhaust on here, just the catalytic converter, it's pretty much uh, a proven fact that you lose your rights to any sort of man card if you don't start your truck at this point with just a catalytic converter on, just to see what the hell she sounds like. So, here we go. Okay, like it said, well first, it helps to file these edges down. You're going to have some rough edges uh, around here from cutting it. So, file that, and then you take this little adapter piece, because this is a two and three quarter inch pipe, and I need to use this adapter piece here, um, this little short adapter piece. So, you take this, and you put the small clamp on it. The two and three quarter inch clamp, it actually says uh, 
69.9 millimeters on it. And you stick that on your little adapter piece and then put this on the pipe. And then after that, you go and you cut two inches, uh, cut two inches off of the uh, other pipe that goes next off the back, not the part that goes in here because it has this little crimping things on here and you got to leave those on the pipe. So make sure you cut it off the back edge of the pipe that goes over the top of the muffler because the muffler then has those little uh, crimp things on it as well. Um, I'm not actually going to clamp these down yet. I'm just going to kind of loosely fit it on here. And then at the end, once I get everything adjusted, I'm going to come back and, and uh, clamp everything down. Okay, hey, once you cut off your two inches, I went back and I, I filed the uh, outside edges of this again because this part's going to go into the muffler. And then I went back and made sure everything slipped into the muffler okay. Um, at this point, I'm talking about things slipping into the muffler okay. I think I'll mention that uh, before I did any of this, started cutting my exhaust, I actually went and tried to fit all the pieces together to make sure they actually all fit together. And looked them over to make sure everything wasn't damaged or screwed up. And the uh, curvy pipe, the little black pipe, and to the uh, outlet of the muffler actually did not fit very well. It would, uh, they were a little bit oblong. So if uh, I twisted the muffler a little bit, it would fit and uh, fit fine. And then I could twist it back to where it ought to be. So I'm hoping that once I get it up in the truck, I'll be able to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do some wiggling and, and uh, what not, whatnot around to get everything to uh, fit on there right. But I'm uh, hoping for the best. Status tech, check front. Got those on there. Put the hanger on before I put the pipe in. Slip it through there. Uh, just a little note. These uh, little pipes slip in and out of these hangers a lot easier if you uh, re -lube them. So I sprayed some WD-40 in there again and they went right into a problem. Then you got back here to the muffler. Don't forget to put the clamp on here, put the pipe in. And then you got the tailpipe. I uh, threaded it over my rear axle. And again, um, I had the WD-40 in the hangers and slipped the hangers right in. My next step is I'm going to put a clamp on the back of the muffler and then slide this in there. Uh, it's a note that in the picture the inlet was <clears throat> is offset and it is on the side towards where the exhaust sweeps out so towards the outside of the vehicle so that's where I have my inlet right now uh, towards the outside of the vehicle and I am going to hope that fits if not I get to uh, turn it around all right, she fits, damn thing fits. Um, like I kind of expected, I had to turn it, can't really pan out enough, but I had to turn the muffler sideways to kind of get it into the pipe and then I turn it back. So just kind of uh, before you give up and say that it doesn't fit into the pipe, um, you know, check it, twist it or whatever. There's plenty of room up above the muffler here for which you can uh, twist and turn it a bit. To see if it fits so I am now going to uh, go back and I'm going to look at all these joints make sure everything's closed I'm going to check these things like here make sure it's spaced I think it says like in there I think it might say a quarter inch or whatever but I'm going to look at the directions and see what spacing make sure I got enough spacing from everything so when it vibrates and shakes and moves around nothing bangs into anything so I uh, don't get any crazy sounds like that and then after that, I'm going to tighten her down, put on the tip, start her up. Okay, so what I ended up having to do was flip the muffler around here because with the inlet pipe on the inside, or rather, I mean, to the outside of the vehicle, this front hanger here was touching the frame. And it said it needs three quarter inch clearance in the instructions, not one quarter inch. So uh, I needed to find three quarter in with the, like I said, with the inlet uh, on the outside of the vehicle. This actually touched the frame, so that's bad. But spin it around and look at that, I got all kinds of clearance. So the only thing I got really left to do is put my uh, clips on here to lock those, lock the hangers in on this one and the others. 
and uh, and I'm done. Um, I'm kind of waiting until my WD-40 kind of dries off and wears off because they're a little loose and slippery in there um, before I actually put those clips on so I can kind of move them where I want them and then uh, be done. The only other thing that's a little strange is back here on my tip. Doesn't get a clearance a lot. There's really not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it because uh, it can only come down so far because the hanger is uh, is stopping it from coming down any further. So um, that's just the way they bent the pipe. Not a whole whole lot I can do about that. Um, so that's the way it is. So right now I'm going to uh, set it right here. Start the vehicle. Let's see what she sounds like with my new exhaust. Sounds good starting up. Uh, couldn't be happier. Sounds great. So that's pretty much it. Putting on the uh, Flowmaster for, uh, Force 2 Catbatic exhaust on my 2011 uh, GMC Sierra.